What's up everyone, I'm still not gushy, and in today's video I'll be teaching you guys the updated version of EO's Eye Cancel. Stick around to learn how. Depending on which game mode you're playing in Ghost of Tsushima Legends, whether it's Raid Chapter 1 or 2, Platinum Custom Survival or Nightmare Survival, and even the Trials of EO, you'll eventually encounter these reddish, pinkish orbs which Gyozen calls EO's Eyes. EO's Eyes hunted the ghosts. And if you're ever caught in the middle of Eo's eye, these vines will come up from the ground, making your character unable to move. If you stay in the vines for too long, your character will eventually get downed. But there are a handful of ways in which your character can get freed from the vines. A teammate could free you with their katana or ranged weapon. Enemy attacks can also free your character. Huacha or fire spirits. Even the boss wave modifiers like the flash bomb from Fighting Blind, Eruption, and even toxic clouds if you're close enough to the initial blast. I'm not sure why wildfire doesn't work. But it's whatever. Perfect game. There was a way to free yourself without the need of a teammate, enemy, or even a modifier. I even posted a tutorial of this old method back in April of 2021. To perform this tech, press and hold R1, then constantly tap square or triangle as Eo's eye is passing through you. If you try this exact method in the 2.18 version of the game, it no longer works. However, thankfully there's two slight variations you need to do in order to make the old ghost weapon mash method still work in this current version of the game. Both variations sandwich the old method. For the first variation, you need to do an action that makes your character unsheathe their katana. And I'll list all the possible ways in which you can unsheathe your katana a little bit later in this video. The second variation, after mashing the ghost weapon to set yourself free from the vines, all you have to do is let go of R1, and I'll explain why later. And with the two new variations and the old method put together, these are actually all the steps you need to follow in order for you to execute the new and updated eye cancel. One last step I'd like to add to the list is that you'll need to repeat step 2, only if Eo's eye catches you more than once depending on your character's positioning. And with all of that information, let's get into the first demonstration and hopefully it'll be easy enough to follow. For this first method, let's unsheathe our katana by pressing square. Immediately after pressing square, press and hold R1. Then as soon as the eye approaches, keep pressing square as you're holding R1. As soon as the eye passes you from holding R1 and pressing square repeatedly, your character will get stuck for a brief second and then unstuck while they slash their katana. During that katana slash, let go of R1 for a brief second then press and hold R1 again and mash square at the same time. And with all these button presses, hopefully you get something like this. Once you've practiced enough and are comfortable with this first method, try swapping out square for triangle and see if you can get the same result. Now this next method is the one I practically use the most out of all methods. It's the most simple one to do, and it even makes your character stand still. This third method requires you to have Way of the Flame as a perk on your katana, so make sure that's equipped. As for which buttons to press, let's first activate Way of the Flame so it's on cooldown. Then let's tap L1 to initiate a katana action. Then execute the rest of the formula like you did in methods 1 and 2, but instead of repeatedly pressing square or triangle while pressing and holding R1, you're going to be pressing circle instead since you have Way of the Flame equipped. Thank you. 
Once you've mastered method 3, you can take it a step further with method 4. Let's say you're in a scenario in which Iozai is in the way of where you need to go. And that's where this fourth method comes in, so you wouldn't have to wait for Iozai to bounce back or be completely out of the way. It's almost the same as the third method, but there are a couple minor differences in which buttons I press. To keep your forward momentum from sprinting, jump and activate Way of the Flame. Then once you're close to the eye, you're going to do a dash attack, cancel the dash attack with R1, and execute method 3. And while you're doing method 3, the only difference with method 4 is that you're holding forward the whole time. And since you're holding forward on the left stick and mashing circle at the same time, when you get stuck then unstuck, your character will do a roll. And after the roll, you have enough time to repeat step 2 and successfully get out of Eo's eye as many times as you need to. And for this fifth and last method that I'll be teaching you in this tutorial, I'll show you how to stand still from getting unstuck without Way of the Flame. I've tried applying what Shadowrunner2730 and what DecoD98 have said in their eye cancel videos, but I was unable to replicate what they said in their descriptions. So I came up with a method that's a bit easier and less strict on precise timing. Since we are standing still for this method, let's start by tapping L1. To keep things simple, let's do what we did in method 1 and execute the same inputs for the eye cancel like you've been normally doing. And here's where your reflexes come into play. When you visually see the moment your character gets stuck, you're going to tap L1 to stop the forward momentum from the katana swing from pressing square. And right after tapping L1, you're going to repeat step 2. The basic principle for method 5 is that you're tapping L1 one in order to stop the forward momentum from your katana swing. And to challenge yourself with the standstill method, try stepping on a button without stepping off of it. Just as you can interchangeably use square and triangle for methods 1 and 2, you can do the same thing for method 5, but we're still calling this method 5. Another standstill method can be done when mashing triangle. Instead of pressing L1 when you see your character get stuck, you're going to tap circle instead. Tapping circle is a little bit more difficult than tapping L1 because it's going to require some dexterity from your thumb just to tap circle. And this is only exclusive to pressing triangle repeatedly because there's no way you can immediately cancel your square strike attack with circle. You can only cancel the triangle attack immediately with circle. <laughs> Oh dang, that's so difficult. I'm using like this part of my thumb to press circle right here. Let's see if I can get it again. Oh, I did it again! Oh my god, that's so hard. Yeah, you gotta press circle with like this part of your thumb. If you're having a difficult time doing the standstill method with L1 or circle, you can always keep it simple and stick to Way of the Flame. Just as there are four steps to execute the new updated version of the eye cancel, there are also four rules you need to follow in order for you to not make mistakes when doing the updated eye cancel. When unsheathing your katana or doing a katana action, you have to make sure you press and hold R1 as soon as possible after doing that action. Because if you stay idle for too long without pressing and holding R1, and then you try the eye cancel, you're gonna get stuck regardless of your character holding their katana in their hand. When you're mashing your ghost weapon, you have to make sure your ghost weapon is in a cooldown state. If you happen to throw your ghost weapon on the exact same frame where your character gets stuck, 
you won't be able to set yourself free. If you don't let go of R1, and you keep mashing the ghost weapon that you're repeatedly pressing while you're holding and pressing R1, you may get free from the first time the eye catches you. But if the eye catches you again, you won't be able to get out because you put yourself in an endless loop of whatever button that you're mashing. And this fourth rule is just a basic rule of thumb. If the eye passes you and you're doing an animation that has a lot of ending lag, there's no way for you to do any method of the eye cancel. So if you follow these four steps, and these four rules, you'll definitely be able to do the new version of the eye cancel, hopefully with no problems. And speaking of problems, I know there may be some concerns in correlation to how much resolve you have, and what method you may be using to do the eye cancel. Let's say you're in a scenario in which you have all three resolved, and you're standing on a button, and you want to do method three, but you don't want to accidentally use your ult like this. <laughs> All you have to do is alternate the timing between your presses between L1 and R1. You can copy what I do in this clip here. The same principle applies when doing the standstill method when finishing with L1. If you do the standstill method that finishes with circle, and if you either have Stone Striker, Heavenly Rebuke, or even the Samurai Heavenly Strike technique equipped, and you do have one resolve, you will actually end up doing Heavenly Strike once you're unstuck by the vines. As long as you don't kill an enemy with Heavenly Strike, you have enough time to set yourself free again if you happen to get caught by Eo's eye a second time. But if you do kill an enemy with Heavenly Strike at the wrong place at the wrong time, you're definitely gonna get stuck. My advice to that scenario, just use the L1 stand method over the circle method and you should be okay. If you have any questions or your own concerns about Eo's eye cancel, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Up until this point of the video, here's a list of all the ways I've shown you can unsheath your katana. But there are a couple more ways in which you can unsheath your katana that I haven't showcased yet. And in all these other ways, you can still follow up in doing any method of the eye cancel. And some of these ways may even surprise you. You can swipe right on the touchpad. Perfect parry counterattack. Perfect parry without the counterattack. A normal parry. Switching stances if your katana has more than one stance on it. Just keep in mind with this method, if your katana has only one stance, you won't be able to unsheath your katana. Jump slash. The enemy had not yet. Jump kick. Pressing and holding triangle for the heavy combo. Ultimate for every class except for the hunter. You can even do emotes that make your character unsheath their katana as well. And lastly, you can use Way of the Flame to unsheath your katana. You can even jump and use Way of the Flame to get the same results as well. A 
If I missed any methods in which you can unsheathe your katana, please let me know in the comments. Also, I'm not really sure who found this updated version of the EO's eye cancel. So if you know the people who discovered this tech, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to pin that comment to give proper credit. Also, feel free to give any suggestions and any other tips that I may have left out. To everyone who's still playing Ghost of Tsushima Legends, I hope you found this video helpful and hopefully you can implement the new eye cancel into your gameplay. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching and God, God bless. bless. Like no god no god please no 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 no